A few roads were recently repaved in Tangipahoa Parish with federal grant dollars, but many were surprised to learn what exactly that included. Brittany Weiss spoke with one woman who's upset that someone removed her mailbox. Here's that two on your side report. She's got a new road freshly paved and striped. But I'm pretty upset. Yet Penny Caracola isn't happy about her mailbox, which was replaced unbeknownst to her. That doesn't make any sense. Why would they just come and take our mailbox up? It's been up there for 17 years. It's never been hit. It's not in the way. That's what happened. All up and down her street, the mailboxes were replaced. The old ones left on the side of the road. The mailbox was laying on the ground. Some of her neighbors got a note, but that note wasn't put anywhere specific. Caracola says she never got one. One neighbor found her letter in the um, ditch. A few people got that letter and called were able to save their box. Everybody else either didn't get the letters or they didn't call in time. This project was completed with a federal grant. Tangible Hope Parish applied for it about four years ago. The parish says once those dollars were received, the state took over the project, but the state maintains this is a parish project. Under this grant, five roads, including this one, were repaved in the parish. They all had to comply with federal highway standards. Even though this isn't a highway, that means all the mailboxes had to be replaced. 155 of them. They're so-called breakaway boxes and are safer. Do not touch the mailbox. I spoke with the parish president who says people have called and complained. He says he's just as frustrated as the citizens. So if they get hit, am I supposed to call DOTD and they're going to replace it? Is the, is the postal service going to replace it? No. It's going to be on the homeowner. You might notice some of them have new numbers. Others, like Caracola's, don't. Hers is written with Sharpie. What we found out was they didn't budget for the letters, the numbers. And um, they were trying to find out how much it was going to cost and who was going to pay for it, whether it be the parish or DOTD. It's not going to be her. She says her other mailbox is going back up. It's going to be repainted and it's going to be put back up. Federal requirements or not. To on your side in Hammond, Brittany Weiss, WBRZ News 2. In this case, DOTD is responsible to ensure the federal guidelines are being followed.